Looking at all that footage really does make me miss home, especially when I'm in New York City and it's been raining all day. But in case you're wondering, that's Cape Town in South Africa and it's where I grew up. Actually, let me pause that right there because I think to fully understand where I am now, and I suppose the whole point of this video, it goes further back than Cape Town. Probably a lot further back. So let me start at the beginning. Hi, my name is Vince Dixon. I was born on the 16th of May, 1984 in Johannesburg, South Africa. My parents were free spirits though, so they soon packed up everything they owned, bought a camper van, and took me on my first road trip. We moved to Cape Town, where my dad built a house, my sister was born, and I got my first motorcycle. From there it was to the Transkei, one of the most remote places in South Africa. Where my dad built another house, and I got this sick new haircut and learned to love the outdoors. From there it was back to Cape Town in school, where I played a lot of sport and started a two-man skater gang with my friend Rob. Mostly we just watched Chad Muska videos and hid from the cooler kids when they drove by. After school I flew to Europe and travelled for a year before heading back to start university. Where I had some pretty good times, met some amazing friends and did a lot of surf trips where we talked about never growing old and just doing this for the rest of our lives. I went to the USA for the first time, got on skis for the first time and got a job as a ski coach, all in the same week. I flew back home for my first and only job interview which I walked into with a black eye from a fight I'd lost the night before. I didn't get the job and realised that I'd never actually wanted to work in an office anyway. So I left university, flew to the UK, got drunk on a bottle of port with a friend and decided to start a travel company. We had an incredible five years, but eventually it ended and around that time someone came up to me on the street and said something like Maybe you should try to be a man who models. So that's what I did. And suddenly my life got very different. And then I woke up one day and I was living in New York City and something felt like it was missing. I'd been too comfortable for too long now. So I did the only thing that made sense. I went to Burning Man, met a girl, fell in love, she broke my heart and finally I stopped feeling sorry for myself and got off the couch. And I realized it was time to make some serious changes in my life. So I looked back at all the times that I'd been happiest and this is what I found. out was this, was that the times I've been happiest in my life, the times I've been most alive, the times I've been most present, it's when I was outdoors, it's when I was adventuring, it's when I was exploring and challenging myself, putting myself in uncomfortable situations, it's when I was around amazing people, it's when I was around interesting people and creative people, people that inspired me, and it's when I was using a camera to tell stories and to capture amazing moments. So I realized that whatever I did moving forward with my life, I wanted it to include those three elements. So I phoned up a friend and we started the production company together. We made a movie about surfing in the cold in Scotland and had some pretty epic times in the Gumball 3000 car rally. And then in 2017, I joined up with my sister and two friends and we rode across the USA on motorcycles, making a documentary about what it means to live a meaningful life. <laughs> and ultimately, all of this has led me here, to YouTube. A place where, not that long ago, I thought it was just cat videos and shitty memes, but I've really woken up recently to what an incredible platform it is of artists and filmmakers and adventurers and people leading incredible lives and telling amazing stories about them. And I'm really excited to be here. It's, uh, this, making this video has been one of the most satisfying things I've done in a while. Also one of the most anxiety inducing things I've done in a while because I'm essentially talking about myself and putting this out into the world is going to be interesting. So if you're watching this, thank you. Welcome to the first video of the Adventure Lab and I really hope to hear back from all of you. Let me know what you think and thank you for being here once again. Ciao.